Okie doke, I hope this works and the battery lasts. Um, so yeah, Hoser, um, you're right, I could just do it on a small um, little thing. And I was uh, originally I was just going to do uh, use some other miniatures, but I was like, no, I should actually be using my <clears throat> command and control uh, system and the rules uh, for the, the things that it was originally designed for, which was my, which is my biblical army. So I'm just doing the 12 by 12 here. I'm not doing the full army. I think you were more interested in, in how the command and control uh, goes. And you know, I'll just kind of limp it down a little bit. I think that should be okay. So what I'm going to try to do is actually move the, um, on my I'm in the game room, uh, the main game room upstairs, and I'm just going to move. Actually, what I should have done was uh, I'll just try to be careful, but I'm just going to rotate uh, back and forth, kind of thing. So yeah, maybe I'll just do both sides here for now. Um, there we go. So this side on the, uh, these guys here, I've just I just randomly picked. Well, not really. Uh, these guys I kind of have a soft spot for them. Um, these are my uh, Syrian or uh, Canaanite um, figures that I use. Um, they're not, uh, the reason why I have a soft spot for them is uh, the very first time I used them, they, they came up against some Babylonians <clears throat> that were defending a hill. And um, these guys were so outclassed, it wasn't funny, but they really um, uh, stuck it in there for a long time. I was really amazed. Um, so after that, I kind of just, um, just had a soft spot for them. And then I thought, you know what, we're going to go with my very first uh, DBA, 15 millimeter DBA um, army I purchased they're not uh, at the time when I purchased them at can games from a, a store called cross swords uh, the DBA army list uh, pack that it, it was from Essex um, that I got it was for the 2.0 army list and I had the purple book by then the 3.0 so um, I had to actually buy some extra horses and stuff to turn uh, convert um, the light chariot into a heavy chariot and all that stuff and so it was not it's it, yeah i just did some little whatever so anyways we're going 12 by 12 like i said uh you're more interested in the um the command and control so we'll, we'll do that um it, yet again um so this is a variation obviously like i've mentioned before of d of dba and also the uh, the command and control structure thing, I can't remember who I um, leveraged it from, but I adapted that a little bit. I also changed up the, I should have brought that thing down, um, uh, how I end a game kind of thing. That yet again was leveraged, so that was, um, I took a, um, it's kind of like a, uh, retire for the day. The guy made like a little uh, deal, uh, an hourly calendar thing. You could just go like turn by turn and then you could say, okay, by this certain date rather than um, saying like so many um, uh, stands are, you know, removed and that's the end of the end of the thing. But I didn't want to have any of those artificial uh, things like somebody knowing that, okay, the last turn is, is next turn. So now we're going to do some crazy moves. So I, yet again, I leveraged um, from uh, Napoleonic's uh, miniatures game that I, lo I love playing, uh, the original LaSalle from uh, Mustafa uh, Honor Publishing <clears throat> Honor uh, website, and um, uh, Sam Mustafa is the Mustafa is the um, is the owner a publisher. Um, and uh, he has a thing at the end. Once you get to a certain point in the day, you have to roll, and it gets increasingly uh, an increasing chance that the game will end, but you don't know when it's going to end. So I used that as well. But that's, uh, that's upstairs. So the first thing we would do if you were going to be over here, <coughs> excuse me. Let's say um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what side you're going to be. I'll, I'll just say that you'll be the Israelites over there, and I'll be the uh, the Syrians. So what we would do is first uh, roll to see. Um, whether or not the gods um, uh, could care less about us, um, uh, uh, look down upon us, or in favor of us. And so what I would do is I just roll a die, uh, a die six each. And if you get a one, uh, they uh, are frown upon you, and you're going to get an extra red cube, you'll see in a minute. And uh, uh, two, three, f uh, four, five, uh, nothing. Uh, they're indifferent, and a six, uh, they favor you. So we'll go with the, the well, we'll start with the Syrian, uh, the Israelites first, since I said uh, those guys first, or Hebrew, whatever. Uh, so you're four, uh, um, they're indifferent, and these guys are both indifferent. Good. Um, so then, uh, rather than the D6, as you know, for um, how many uh, moves uh, an army can make, so if, you know, if, you, if uh, in DBA, if you get a, roll a six, uh, you can do six moves and so on and so forth. So rather than that, um, 
uh, what ends up happening is you're always going to get a, well, you're going to see in a minute, a free move, but each personnel, anyways, are going to have, so that you still have the option of having six moves in a turn. You just don't know if you're going to get them. Is, uh, in other words, you don't know what the die roll, in a sense, was ahead of time. So there's always that free move, I said, and then you're going to get one, two, three, four, five uh, green cubes, and there's always a red, uh, a red one, just so that way, um, you know, I can bring it from one to six. Uh, kind of thing. And if uh, the gods had favored you, um, uh, you would have got an extra green cube. Uh, and if they didn't favor you, uh, you'd get an extra red cube. Um, as well as I don't do, uh, as there's no, um, the only, and you'll see the in for um, when we get into command uh, uh, dependent stuff. Um, the generals are, uh, there's no, uh, oh my god, um, you're in deep trouble. All all ends up happening is uh, um, uh, there's a uh, uh, a green cube is removed. Um, so you, there's less less ability to do what you want. That's uh, basically what I end up doing. All right. So both sides get this here, and then what I would do is um, both sides just put them in socks. These things here and. Uh, Away we go, and you're going to notice that, like I said, we're just going to. I'm not playing a full-on battle here. I'm just going to get into until to, to the point that uh, we have to start dealing with uh, uh, the cubes. Essentially, I also have the only other thing. It may not be period dependent. Some people may be like, "Hey, what the hell? Rallying and disruption and whatnot." So rather than a one-off kill that type of stuff, um, I have pushbacks and um, also disruptions. Uh, well, they, they in DBA you also had pushbacks, as far as I remember. It's been so long since I played. So there's also this and then that's going to cause um, uh, orders to be used or whatever. And it, yet again, it's not um, uh, dependent on the range of the general and so on and so forth. There's no out of command stuff. It's just an abstraction of how uh, things are starting to fall apart or become more difficult for uh, each army. That's about it. And like I said, I'll probably miss a ton of things as we're going along. I'll show you my quick little sheet. Again, I'll, I'll post that. I think I gave it to you. I'm not sure, but you'll see some of the name the name changes, uh, whatever. And I've only got good going and rough going, and and some area some people are not able to go, uh, whatever. And this this rule system, it's I, I use. I have a D6 version and the uh, the pile of dice version. This is the pile of dice version, I think, um, for uh, for playing at uh, tournaments because people like to do that type of stuff. So you'll see there. Those are the modifiers. And uh, so, in other words, you know, rather than a plus one to the die roll, uh, um, the person would get an extra die roll if it was the general. Uh, they would get an extra die if uh, the general stand was there, rather than just rolling one die. And then you'd get plus one, another die if you were in close combat and uphill to the enemy, that type of stuff. And then uh, just, you know, very DBA-ish, yet again, of what you're, you would be used to if uh, you play DBA, except... Here I'm doing uh, like a you know the a big pile of dice, so it's score on a five or a six, and this is what ends up happening based on um, uh, the scores because uh, both both people would roll, even if uh, it's a ranged attack. Um, it just means that obviously, if let's say the pers the target uh, and could not you know fire back kind of thing, or uh, um, wouldn't. Um, you know, wouldn't cause any uh, wouldn't cause any uh, any um, damage to the you know to the the person doing the ranged weapons. So that's really about it. Uh, and the only other thing I have is that skirmishers in my game can uh, um, they can uh, they do have ranged combat. And if uh, you're within um, one half base width or less, like practically you know within con uh, contact, uh, like directly in front. The skirmishers, uh, the skirmish you can fire over. So if I had archers, for example, and right behind the skirmishers, they, they would be protected. I also have, basically the skirmishers are there to just disrupt uh, the other units. They're not there to be put into close combat. They melt. Uh, they're they're essentially destroyed if you uh, start popping them into close combat type of thing. And they have auto um, like like as soon as you come into contact with them, they can like you know retreat 
type of thing, that type of stuff. So that's why I'm using it yet again. It's very Hollywoodish. Uh, it may not work or whatever. So that'll be that. Let's just go with the um, let's just go with the Israel uh, uh, the Hebrews and see what what happens. So like I said, so the way I do it in my uh, thing is you never ever have to worry about um, worrying about uh, how many make move. Anybody can make uh, moves. There's no such things as groups. Or, um, there's no uh, wheeling. None of that stuff. Um, so basically, you're allowed a free move. You never have to worry about grabbing a sock or going for the cubes or any of that stuff, as long as uh, you never end up in a, a threat zone and you're only going forward, uh, essentially. I, I think I'll take a look, but I think that's about it. Anything else, the first time you get a free move and anything after that, oh shoot, my, uh, my battery's starting to die. Gosh, that sucks. This battery thing just, I hate this battery thing. It really bites. Uh, this one in particular, I have to be keep uh, keep an eye on it. Darn it! I may have to do a second video. Um, so that's that. As long as so, I'll just pretend that you're doing. As long as you don't make any sideways move or have to do anything that way, you can move anybody as many as you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. But as soon as you start to doing whatever, skirmishers do not count. They can move in any direction. However, uh, they can, and it does not count. Um, towards a free move or having to go to the cube. And massed infantry, those hordes over there, which, um, here, I'm gonna bring them on over. So these guys, on on the other hand, do require a, do do eat up a free move. It's just because there's so many of them, they don't want to go anywhere kind of thing, and it requires like a bit of a poking with the stick. So if I wanted to move these guys, um, they're actually gonna cost, uh, it'll be a free move, uh, as in that'll kill my free move, but after that, everybody else is gonna have to be, um, um, I'll, I'll have to draw from the cube, so I'll have to be careful. And um, I can move everybody like as one group kind of thing, all forward, not gonna cost me, you know what I mean, that kind of thing, but as soon as I hit into a threat zone, it will because there's no such things as groups, like I said. So there we go, let's just do one. So, uh, and yet again, I'm gonna bring out my freaking stick and um, uh, these are, uh, 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 geez, I can't even remember my, uh, the, the names here that I have anymore. So those are light bow, the four, four uh, bowmen would be heavy archers, the three uh, footmen, if you ever see that, I just call them warband now, and then uh, four uh, would be uh, spearmen or regulars, and then yet again, you can differentiate, you get four, whatever you want to call them, it doesn't matter, I'm not into this, uh, whatever, you would say, okay, those are veterans, and uh, then we have cavalry, light chariots, and heavy chariots, you get the idea. All right, so these guys uh, way off in here are the light bow, and they can move uh, three and good going. So they're going to do it. And one, two, three. And the only difference between I have um, light bow and heavy archers is that light bow um, can shoot and move their full distance, whereas uh, heavy archers cannot move two and shoot. They can move one and shoot, but they couldn't move two and shoot kind of thing. Um, but these guys can that's but they're not as combat effective, but you know, there you go So that that that's a freebie. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I wouldn't have to worry about that um, Can I do yep? Because there's the their, uh, War band and these guys and yet again, I'm not really into this whole uh, Have to stick as long as they're within uh, one half or less. I'm pretty okay These are my um, oh shoot. I can't remember the name of these guys these are the, um, um, the, oh darn it, uh, it it's in the uh, uh, DBA uh, list, um, the certain types, but these are my veteran troops, uh, the crack, uh, like the king's soldiers, uh, I can't remember their names, so I'll put them there, and then um, here as well as with war bands, if they double up, uh, they get a bit more uh, combat resistance kind of thing, but the, can also, also cause them grief. And I'll just pop these guys up. So let's let's just uh, yeah. So because because my battery's about to drop dead, and I wanted you guys wanted to see. So there you go. That would be a freebie. Nothing would happen. Don't have to worry about anything. Let's do some crazy stuff because uh, otherwise, uh, like I said, my battery's going to run out, and I wanted you to see some uh, stuff. So let's go to let's say three. Three. But let's say now I wanted to, for whatever reason, move my chariot. Uh, light chariots over here, uh, that away. I've now moved them in a, f 
uh, I've not moved them straight ahead. So now that's it. That's okay. That's a free move. But anything after I want to do now, I'm going to have to draw from the sock. So let's say I did. I went, oops, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. So now I would draw from the sock. And if it's a red one, that's it. It's well, like game over, turnover. And it's a green. So that means I can continue going. Um, and that's it. Like the thing is now, um, even though I'm now moving straight ahead kind of thing, I've, I've, uh, I've screwed myself, if, if, if that makes any sense. Um, that's the way I play it. Like I've now, um, you're, like people are now going, what's happening now? Kind of, and like I said, um, this is still a um, uh, play in progress. So you may go, hey, wait a minute. Uh, this didn't, um, um, this doesn't make any sense or whatever. Maybe it doesn't, but uh, this is the way we, uh, the way I've played it. People seem to uh, enjoy this type of having to think before you start making some crazy uh, decision making t stuff. In other words, that stuff should have been made first, then um, the crazy thing. Does it, I, hope, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's pretend um, yet again, because like I said, this battery is really starting to go. So let's um, let's just put some people up, and I'll uh, just for fun. We'll see what happens here. And we'll move them here. We'll get some guys up. Yeah, we'll double them up. We'll see. These guys took for flipping ever. And there we go. And we're putting the skirmishers right behind the spearmen, just you know, the regulars, just in case. And let's say I did get that guy up here. Oh yeah, I'll move him over here just a little because I want to double up with the there we go and let's just uh, say uh, let's say from a previous whatever um, this guy so I'm gonna puff a cotton and uh, yeah we'll just go with that that's why not and actually we'll put uh, there just for fun because now I think we're into some threat zone type of stuff so do I have any free moves still? Yeah, I've got some free moves uh, because skirmishers are, are free to do whatever the heck I want. Um, actually, um, let's, uh, no, because uh, do you have any? Yeah, let's flip over to your side. Why not? Why not? Why not? So what can uh, the Israelites do um, that are free moves kind of thing? Well. They could shoot, uh, no problem, um, and they could, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, in the way I have in the skirmishers, they're not allowed to combine um, their attacks, but at least they can do something. Uh, they're not great at it, but uh, it's better than nothing. So uh, the skirmishers here, they can go uh, like uh, like everybody else, uh, one base width off to each side and shoot, but I always have it that they always have to shoot in front. Uh, that's your like your priority kind of thing. Um, so they're gonna go skirmishers on skirmishers, and that's uh, two dice to two dice. I'm just gonna roll. But that would cost nothing. Oh, I, um, how do I do it again first? It would be moves. Yeah, sorry, it's moves and then attacks. So I shouldn't have, shouldn't be doing that first, as far as I remember. Um, and then oh, it's been so long. Like I said, Hoser, it's been it's been so long. So. I'm just going to say, um, so this guy could meet, that would be a free move. I could do that, let's say. And then um, uh, this could be another free move. I, it wouldn't cost me anything and, and so on and so forth. And I could, uh, this would be a free move if I wanted to c uh, come into contact. So let's say I wanted to do that. Um, so I could do that. Boom. Now I would have to start drawing yet again from the... Um, from the cube uh, thing. I hope you get the idea. And then let's see here. So, oh shit. So that would be red. So unfortunately, you would that would be the end of your turn. And then we would, uh, I guess, do combats. Or I think is it range? Yeah, I think we, it's range combat first, then movement, and then close combat. My gosh, it's been so long. But uh, I think you get the idea. And then we would just roll. For example, if, let's say if I wanted to, um, I don't know. Let's. Let's just do these guys. Let's pretend for the heck of uh, sake of it. So that would be, you know, um, I would do, uh, well, let's just, because it didn't move. So that would be um, uh, combat factor warband against, uh, warband is three. 
but the other guys get plus one because they've got a warband providing rear support to another warband that are both in good going. So that would be, uh, oops, sorry, that would be um, three yellow dice and four, uh, sorry, four yellow dice and uh, three blue dice. And then away we would go. And then uh, what do I got here? Um, uh, five or six. So the blues um, outscore um, uh, double the, um, I don't know if you can see it here, but uh, well, they, yeah, they more than double um, whatever. And what would happen with that? Uh, scores. Scores less but more than half equals score. More than half. Uh, veterans, regulars, and warband destroyed by chariots and good going, otherwise pushed back and disrupted. <clears throat> so that means these guys would now be. I would do it like this. This is the way I would do it. Boink. And both get would be get both would be disrupted, which means they would now get a minus. Uh, they would get one less die. Uh, to attack, but they would always get one. Um, one to thing, and I think they have to attack. Um, what is? It? I think they attack on a six, uh, as far as I know. So that's it. I hopefully get an idea of what I do with the command and control. It's just basically um, a, a bl not knowing what the the pit roll is going to be ahead of time. Oh gosh, I hope this worked for you. Anyways, good luck, and uh, I'll I'll talk your brains out if you ever want to um, uh, chit chat about this at another point. Okay. Happy gaming to you, Hoser.